In today's video, we're going to be looking at the German shorthead pointer and how playful they are. Welcome back to the German Shorthead Pointer channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Mimi. I'm a registered canine leader here at FenwayCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the German Shorthead Pointer, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect German Shorthead Pointers. So if you're a lifelong GSP lover thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new GSP then this channel is for you so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future GSP video. So then let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the German Shorthead Pointer and how playful their natures are. The GSP is a stellar working breed so it should come as no surprise that these dogs thrive in a busy active lifestyle. Loyalty and close bonds to their family are what can be expected from a GSP, but this can lead them to being capable of coping with being alone for extended periods of time. They love to be busy and as long as they're mentally stimulated, playtime can be thoroughly enjoyable for them. Do note that they're best suited to experienced dog owners or those that can allow for their GSP to be predominantly outside exploring or working. They are extremely intelligent and so need a firm hand when training and teaching them boundaries when it comes to play or training. For a medium sized breed they have endless energy so playtime out in the open would be best but you should be wary when your GSP is off the lead. It can prove too tempting should a rabbit come into his lie line. You can be playing the most engaging game for them but their natural instincts can just be too strong to fight sometimes. The GSP is a highly intelligent dog with an instinctively high working drive. This breed has been historically cultivated and bred to be a versatile, eager working companion out on hunts. This means they are quick to learn, they thrive from learning and can be taught to understand complex commands. In addition to learning verbal commands, pointers can comprehend physical cues just as confidently, which can be invaluable when it comes to physical play with you. Teaching a dog to respect your body language is a brilliant way to prevent them from overstepping the mark should they get too carried away, forgetting their place. A positive about the nature of GSPs is that they aim to please. They will love to listen to their family as long as the training is consistent and they will respond well to positive reinforcement. If you want your GSP to listen to everyone in the family in equal parts, simply train in equal parts. A GSP will be happy to listen to everyone if trained to do so. If you plan to have a GSP in the family unit, it's important that they learn to respect and listen to each member and this is so they can play with the whole family and there still be that level of control present. A key point to remember about a GSP is the strength of innate behaviour. Innate behaviour is basically bred into the very genes of a breed. This can make the training of your pointer take slightly longer and require more patience than with other breeds. So yes, their innate behaviours can make it seem as though they're slow to learn and progress at times, and they can test your patience, but for their owner they will be eager to please. It's always best to discover if your dog is more food or praise orientated early on, so they associate training with a reward they want from a young age. A firm hand is what is going to be needed to train your GSP, but harsh correction is unlikely to produce a well-trained dog. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home, or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behavior. Behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. As a puppy, once they're cleared to meet and greet other people and other dogs, it is so, so important to socialize them correctly. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean meeting as many dogs and as many people as possible. It's more that they need to explore the world around them in a positive way to ensure that you have a well-rounded dog that's less likely to be reactive. Meeting and playing with other dogs in a positive environment is invaluable when it comes to boundaries. In some ways, older, more experienced dogs are the best at teaching puppies their place and how to play appropriately. As owners, we can teach puppies what is good and bad behaviour from our point of view, but dogs have their own notion of right or wrong behaviours, which we just won't be able to replicate. 
early positive socialization reduces the risk of your GSP becoming dog aggressive. So just might be mindful of which breeds you introduce them to first when they're young. If you're worried or unsure about how best to socialise your puppy, head back to our main YouTube channel. We have videos dedicated to this over a variety of breeds. To recap before the end of this video, let's quickly summarise all we've covered today. In short, yes, GSPs can love playtime as much as any other working breed. They love human affection and companionship and play will just strengthen their bond with you. But it has to be engaging and you may need to lay down some ground rules if you have children so they know what different play is acceptable. They may not always want to play because their mind is elsewhere, because of their innate working nature, but they are quick to learn when it's something they love to do. Puppy socialisation is also extremely important so they learn what is appropriate when playing with other dogs. Older dogs are very effective at teaching younger ones what they should and should not be doing at playtime. Just be aware to do this in a healthy, positive environment to reduce the chance of dog aggression that can stem from a GSP having a traumatic experience at a young age. But all in all, a well-rounded GSP will have endless energy to play and explore with. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below, and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated GSP videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the GSP channel.